Hi ones and twos, I'm just going to remind you of some of the activities that you can do to practice your smart spelling weekly words. So the first one that you might choose to do is fancy writing. So I'm going to use the word dog. Dog's going to be the word that I'm going to practice. Okay, so fancy writing. I might do them all in capitals and maybe even bubble writing like this. Very important that whichever activity that you do, you still put your lines through the word for every sound. D, o, g, d, o, g. You might even do dots at every corner like this. Still, I'm going to put my lines through the word for every sound. D -O -G. All right, let's have a look at spelling points. Spelling points, I'm going to write the word. And I'm going to split it up. D -O -G. Like they usually would. And now for every graph, every graph is worth two points. Every digraph is worth five points and a trigraph is worth 10 points and if there's a quad graph a quad graph will be worth 20. there's only graphs in the word dog so it'll be two plus two plus two equals two or six equals six but maybe we can do a bit a bigger word let's do the word that So I can show you when it's when there's a digraph in it. Mm. At. Mm. At. Th is a digraph. It's two letters that make one sound. So that is worth five points. Five points for the digraph. So five plus two because the a is just a graph and the t is a graph as well. Plus two. So we've got five, six, seven. 8, 9, 5 plus 2 plus 2 equals 9, that is spelling points. Meaningful sentences, so you need to make sure you put your sentence and it needs to it needs to make sense, that's what meaningful sentences mean. So dog, I walked my dog to the park, that's the sentence, I walked my dog. To the park. Okay, and with your weekly spelling word, I still need to see, I still like to see the lines going through. D -O -G. And then we've got highlight the tricky part as well. So whichever part might be the tricky part in your word, you're going to highlight it. So still the lines go through and maybe with a different colour. I think with the word dog it's pretty pretty easy for Mr. Larico, but if it had to be a trick the trickiest part, I'd probably say the G. Don't even know why. <laughs> but yeah, reading other words. So in the word how about the word they said it's actually quite tricky okay so they we've got mm. a two digraphs in the word they and the trickiest tricky part in this word would be the ey digraph that makes the a sound it can easily be can be confused for the ay digraph so that would be the trickiest part of this word i'm going to highlight that how about the word said? Let's sound out the word said. We've got s, e, d. S, e, d. A, i makes the e sound. 
that will definitely be the trickiest part for this word. I'm going to highlight the AI that makes the E sound. There are some examples of some of the activities that you can do to practice your weekly words. Have fun.